Cast down imaginations. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 to 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments or imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. One of the things we must learn very early on in our Christian life is that there is a battle and this battle and the battleground primarily is the area of our mind. Uh, I'm not saying that there are no engagements in other areas with, with the enemy. Of course, uh, uh, we're not excluding other engagements, other areas where we have to engage with the enemy. But a major part of our conflict with demonic forces and with what Satan and his demons do uh, are, have to do with our mind. That's their primary target, where they attack us with thoughts, imaginations, arguments, and reasonings, and so on, in the area of the mind. And so the Apostle Paul, as he talks about the battle or the warfare that we are engaged in, he says, you know, uh, we're not fighting according to the flesh. We're not fighting physically. That's not our battle. Our battle is a spiritual battle. But what is the nature of this battle? He says, it has to do with casting down arguments. And the King James says, casting down imaginations. And several other versions of the Bible would translate that arguments as imaginations. And so we want to focus on that this week about casting down imaginations. You see, uh, many times uh, the way the enemy attacks us is by uh, injecting or intercepting uh, what goes on in our mind with the thoughts and, in, and imaginations uh, that, uh, that he puts in. So imaginations are like visuals, the things that you that are painted on the, on, on the, on the canvas of, of what you're seeing, of visuals that are coming into your mind. And, and these imaginations, they, uh, they are not reality. They are not things that have actually happened. But these imaginations sometimes can be so vivid, uh, so impactful, as though uh, they are real. It's like what in modern in the modern world, we talk about virtual reality. We talk about immersive experiences. You wear on a pair of goggles and it's as though you're there, but really you're not there. It, but the feeling, the experience is as though it's all real and it all happens just through a pair of goggles that you're wearing. Now, can you imagine, but in a much grander, bigger scale, it's happening in your mind. And that's what the, the enemy tries to do. He tries to present imaginations in our mind. And we must learn how to cast down imaginations. We must respond to these imaginations with spiritual weapons. And our primary spiritual weapon is the Word of God. You counter that imagination with the Word. So you and I must learn to think the Word and speak the Word to counter that imagination and cast it down. We will talk more about this as we go through this week and learn how to cast down imaginations. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for spiritual weapons that you've given us by which we can cast down imaginations. And everything that opposes the knowledge of God, that opposes the truth that you've given to us. Help us to walk in victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.